All right, so yes, all right, I remember the video now. All right, so first off, apologies. I'm tired of these apologies, like they're pissing me off genuinely. But basically, I wasn't able to upload to y'all for a while because my computer here was really glitching out. And I had some videos on my Canon that I really wanted to upload, and they're good. They're good, man. They're really good. But I can't use the computer right now. It's crashed. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with that. I got to take it to a technician. Hopefully, he can fix it up, and I can really deliver some higher quality videos. But until then, I'm going to have to take a step back, come back to the phone, and uh, just upload from here, hopefully. And, uh, you know, give y'all some videos. But to the actual point of the video, you know, I love y'all. Again, and uh, we hit 300 subscribers, so I'm really thankful for that. Um, you know, I mean, it's amazing. You know, the love y'all show me is actually more than I expected. From the moment I came onto YouTube and what's now, bro, the love is unreal. So if you're subscribed to me, man, just I want you to know that you've really made a dude's day. You've really made me smile. I, I Every time I look at this number, I know that from April 1st when I decided I wanted to do a YouTube video and then now I'm coming 300. I, I love it, man. It's amazing. So thank you for that, really. But I will deliver content consistently. I need, I want to up the base. But honestly, dude, the subscribers, my subscribers are the people who care. The view, the ones who view, they just want to see me. And that's fine. As long as you're giving me views and as long as you're showing love, hey. And even the hate, too. Sometimes it's good to know that you have hate because then it really lets you know, like, you're reaching out to a large audience. But to the point of the video, it's not going to be a long one. It's going to be a very blunt and good one, a little motivational one, and then, yeah, so basically, you know, shit hadn't been the best for me lately, not, you know, kind of just emotional states, things going wrong, disappointments, failures, right, I had my first rehearsal ever, I felt really bad because I was holding back a lot when I really should have just been letting out as an actor should, um, you know, I landed, um, I was doing some piano performance in class, right? They usually make us take out our headphones, play out loud in front of everyone. I was playing, I'll say something. And if y'all don't know that song, say something, say something, I'm giving up on you. So I'm playing that song and I got so nervous. So, I mean, like, you know, just nothing really was going the ideal way. And things were just kind of taking its haywire direction. And I didn't really like that. And it made me feel really emotional and stuff because, you know, I'm a guy who feels easily, <laughs> you know? So the point is, is that I was feeling down. I was feeling really low at the time. I was really feeling like things were just not going well for me. They were just sitting here at a flat line and I wasn't happy with how my life was going in that sense. I felt like I was really failing myself. And then I remembered something that I want to share with you guys. Misery is the sign that things, that you're going to grow, right? When you're at the bottom or when you're going through hard times and things aren't going ideal as they normally should for you, right? When things are just kind of taking this haywire direction and it almost seems like you don't know who you are, your identity is lost, you have no control of the world. That is where you want to be at times, man. If you really, if you're looking to become the strongest version of yourself or if you've been on the journey, that is the exact moment you need. So if you're going through that right now and you're on the journey to becoming the strongest version of yourself, you are exactly where you need to be. At the point of misery, at the point of suffering, where things aren't right. When the world is out of control and it's bad, that's when you know you're in the right spot, right? The universe's timing is perfect. And whenever you're going through the bad shit, that's when you know you're, you're, you're about to grow, right? When things are grumpy, things are bad, when you've declined away from this from this world that you knew and you've declined into something bad, out of control, you're going to incline right back up. Like the basketball analogy Elliot Hulse uses, you slam it hard enough to the ground, you slam it really hard, boom, it's going to go straight up after that. So that's where you want to, that's what's going to happen when you hit that point where you feel sad and miserable, where you, things aren't going right, you hit that, you hit the ground and you're going to come up into this new world, this new evolution, and this new ideology of you and who you're going to be. Every 
every step of the universe, every new obstacle demands a different you. And when you hit misery, it's that it's that sign of transformation. So be thankful. Um, hard times are meant to happen, and they're meant to make you strong. So continue to be strong, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, take misery as a sign of of that you're doing it right. If you're suffering, you're doing it right. If you're not suffering, don't worry. Your time is going to come. Just be ready to suffer. Be ready to fall. Because when you fall and get back up, you're a whole different person. You're stronger. You're better. You're wiser. And that's that's it. Um, th be thankful for misery and keep continue to grow.